Okay, hello everybody. So this is the, gonna be the part three of the podcast. Originally, uh, I'm because I'm interviewing my older brother, and originally this is supposed to be part one. I wrote it down in my notebook because I have a notebook of, of questions that I usually ask. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be like yeah the third one because Quigan has been a bit busy. So wait, yeah. who's the first? First one was it was um it was Daniel. You remember Daniel? Daniel Parsa and then me. yeah Daniel Parsa and then you. Yeah. Daniel. You remember Parsa being the second one? Yeah. Yeah. Because I remember I remember um. I don't know how I remember it. Yeah. I interviewed him. It was actually pretty interesting. Did you do you watch the podcast or no? Like do you even know that the channel is? No, no I haven't found it. I haven't found the channel yet. <laughs> but like I the no, thing is like I like I I wanna look for it, but the thing is like I'll be happier if like you just somehow like the video like goes in like my algorithm. Yeah, no no that's the thing. That's also part of the reason why I even made the channel because it's like also as because I'm I'm working on a group channel with my friends and I'm pretty sure you already know it. Um, but the thing is that like with this solo, solo channel, I didn't want to even promote it on my, like, you know, like I uploaded my audiobook and then I promoted my audiobook on my, on my story or like on the website that I made. But other than that, like I, I never yeah, even like, put, yeah. Cause I just want to, I just want to like, if it blows up, yeah, go on. I wanted to like not blow up just because like I, I just promote like self promote everywhere. Like I wanted to just blow up organically. Yeah. Okay. But so look, so there's like some surface level questions and after there's ones that are more deeper but there's like this one that i'm actually pretty curious about mm-hmm. okay so the first question i don't know how Wait, i remember is it this. is it like different questions for everyone like you have like yeah i have a different set of questions, questions for, for everybody yeah oh, okay that's good yeah okay so this question i just randomly remember this kind of remind. this is like a nard war type question so i remember so my question is i remember you posting an ig story about steve lacy's that's no fun and yeah. you said something like life in a nutshell what was that about and what changes in your life led to that story that i just oh, no, that, that was like it was um it was like the time i was getting into like steve lacy and i was like always going um i forgot what exactly it was but like the scenario i think was like um do you remember the picture no but all i remember is that you posted a story and then after you just said life in a nutshell or like you posted like a a picture of the steve lacy's that's no fun yeah i'm gonna find it Wait. yeah because i want to know but i i remember like like you the remember? moment I heard it, the yeah. song. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna look for the picture, but I remember like, um, it was intended like just cause like um, when I when I first heard the song. Yeah. In like uh, how you say it? when I first heard the song. Yeah. It was cause it was like in the moment where like I was like liking Steve Lacey. Yeah. And at some point when everyone like ends up like liking the artist so bad so yeah. much. They end up like trying to become like OG, so they go to yeah, like, yeah, they go to all, all, so I was like in that phase, <laughs> and, like, yeah, but like, the, no, but you know, you know, I, I did that too. With you remember when I did that with Playboy Cardi, yeah, I, I did think, like, like everyone, but has that. yeah, no, but that's the thing, but like because I remember I discovered Playboy Cardi like and like a while ago, and after that, I only started getting into recently, and I just only started listening, I started listening to his really old music, but his old music is good though, what yeah, were you gonna say? but like, yeah, like everyone, like, I feel like everyone goes through that. Like they, like they, they hear like a like an artist is like doing super good. Yeah. So they want to like right before he ends up like the artist becomes like mainstream. Yeah. You try to like learn everything that's old so that you can like <laughs> kind of like like flex that you're like an OG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but like I was already kind of late. Yeah. But I, like I still enjoyed like like going yeah. back to it. So I, I remember listening to the album, and I was like listening to music, and then, like every song on that the the lo fi yeah, album yeah. was like super good. Yeah, such a good song. And like um, I, I remember it was because I saw like interviewed saying that I think one of his albums were like um, sh- like filmed just on uh, iPhone. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, just the audio. It was that one. It was. I'm pretty sure. I'm like ninety percent sure it was the lo fi's, and also a part like a good amount of Apollo Twenty One. Like that's his uh, uh, first. Okay. His like first actual serious album. But now I re- I remember like at that uh, during that time. Yeah. Like I would just listen to one Steve Lacey song of like the old album and I would like it so much and then I would yeah. like show it to like Jonna, <laughs> which is my girlfriend, and then I would like tell her like oh look I, like um it's, cause it's like a competition between us, yeah. like who can find like new music. <laughs> so yeah. I just found like one song, like either like the first or second song and I just played it and like like I was like telling her and she ended up liking it. Yeah. So like, so like you start when when, when it when the other person ends up liking the song, then yeah. you get to say like, "Oh, I put you on." Put you yeah, on. yeah, that's also the good thing. Like when you put up. <laughs> but when when I when I listened to that song, it was like it was so good because like um, yeah, it's such a good message. Yeah, it was like a really really good message, and like even like the the part where like, like in the song, like the there's like a random guy that's saying like yeah, he says oh, like oh, oh what the happened? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. said like oh what happened to that Steve? Yeah, and, like, and like I just thought like in the standpoint of like like not even just as a person like, obviously like. 
when you're a person like you want to change but like yeah. just even as like a like artist like there's so many like it's the same thing with like any artist is like the more you like i don't know it's so like it's so like we're such in like a bad state where it's like if an artist tries to experiment people like don't like it until yeah. it's 100 good yeah but then if the artist like stays the same then everyone ends up saying like oh why don't you like experiment yeah why don't you experiment yeah but i feel like that's definitely what like for example like people like public have to go to but like um i feel like with steve lacy though i feel like definitely the 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 way the way that he evolved his music it just sounds like a lot more professional like it sounds like he's like i feel like he's sticking he's stuck into the same genre but like he just like he just sounded more like as if like he was recording in a studio yeah but i feel like in a way that's like a part of the charm of steve lacy because even though like he's a very you could tell he's a very talented person like he just does everything you would do everything on his iphone at the same time too like i feel like i kind of miss the fact that like if you listen to his old music you could clearly tell like it was just like the type of music you'd make in your like, bedroom like low budget yeah like low budget and but like good, good yeah part. and you know like people like anthony fantano you know they rated like his his album like his old albums he would give them like a one or two but everybody in the comments were hating because they said like you just don't understand it because it's like steve lacy like the reason why the production sounds trash is or like it sounds like really low quality is because it's, it's meant low to be budget like that. yeah yeah but like low budget doesn't always necessarily you mean, mean like bad. bad message yeah because like sometimes the message is so good but like the budget is so low and people just yeah expect like they they like their heads like they it doesn't cross their mind that the message is good yeah all they care about is like all whether the budget is good yeah yeah i don't know but like yeah like that question i think the question of like why what was it intended to i don't know yeah. it wasn't like intended too much it was just like when i heard it it just made like so much sense yeah it's not like a specific thing like when i listened to it i like caught like i instantly changed my whole life yeah but it was just like a like i just like it kind of like resonated like why would you yeah. want to like why would you want to stay the same yeah like if yeah. if like the same thing with like when you move on from like high school and like college yeah i feel bad for the people that like try and stay in high school like and the, you know like the the meme like super seniors yeah but like, like, that's like that, it's like a like like our friends like all of our friends we love to like speak about like fun stories in high school yeah, but it's no, not like same a thing with, like yeah same with my group too. like like it's not like but that's just like life yeah but like it's not like a bad thing necessarily yeah but like we just we like to like reminisce yeah but we're never like none of us kind of like stayed similar like we're yeah. all still similar than the way we are since high school but like in like a more evolved way yeah yeah i feel like it's the exact same way with, with my friend group too like i remember we uh yeah there's like so many things that uh to be honest the way that you describe it is is like in a way like kind of like my friend group as well like we yeah. we stayed we stayed the same in certain ways but in other ways we evolved a lot too yeah and like the thing is like of course i really believe like it's it is a good thing or like it, it's fun to reminisce but like if you're like visiting Jean Montreux all the time and like you're like being like weird about it, like you know, like the super senior for people, yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. Just no, no, no. Like, Us is just like whenever we're like all yeah. together, yeah, yeah, we just, just like to be, like bring up like a such a like funny yeah, story, like a random happened. story, yeah, yeah. Okay, but so okay, next next question. This is also one of the more deeper questions, but like that I was planning to do like more later on in the interview, but now that you mention it, um, because you mentioned Joanna, right? So one of my questions is: you've known and been in a relationship. With Joanna for many years now, what would you say is the key to a healthy relationship? Yeah, I don't know. There's like so much, but I think like if I were to put like, like your your top like one, two, or threes, I'd yeah. say first is like communication. Yeah. But like, I, I feel like everyone says like says that. Yeah, but they don't really know what it means. But like what? It, yeah, what they don't really know what it means, but it's like, they feel like it's like I feel like it's su- like people yeah. take it. They try to like overcomplicate it. Yeah. But what communication is is just literally like, like, telling them like what you're doing. Yeah. If example like you know that you're not gonna be able to like, necessarily like text back for like, like four or five hours. Yeah. Like it doesn't hurt to just send like a thirty second text. Yeah. And like, I'm not like perfect at that too. Like I always yeah. make the mistake of like not texting her. Yeah. But I think like that's just like one way of communicating. Mm. Okay. And then obviously, like communicating your feelings and all that, yeah, is like another thing. But like, I probably, I probably say that's like the yeah. one of like the top stuff. Yeah. Um. Another key to another, I okay. This one is like, is like um, I always like to address whenever there's like a problem. Like, yeah. Not a problem, but example, there's like an argument. No matter what, like I, I, I won't, like sleep until like the the conflict is like yeah n- n- like not i don't want to force like it to be resolved but at you least like head on 
uh yeah we try to but like example like some arguments are to the point where like you kind of have to like let it go on for like a few days yeah but like just to like if it's like such a small like problem there's like no reason to like like let it continue on for the next few days like yeah that's that's the thing i do is like if if it's if, if we both feel like in our hearts like it's such a small problem we'll we'll like we won't go to sleep until like it's resolved yeah but like bigger problems that take longer then obviously we'll, we'll like sit on it we'll yeah. like sleep and like the next day we're still not the best but yeah. like the smallest problem is where it's like like a like a silly yeah silly uh, argument for like you know absolutely like yeah like, no reason then i'd yeah. say like yeah just like avoiding those mm. and then last one is I, i feel like understanding like the like each other but like yeah. in a way like because um i feel like this is one thing i i talked to like talk to her a lot about yeah is that like there's not um there's not like set like i say set rules to like a relationship yeah like because one relationship can be completely different, different from the other so like we, we try not to like when we try to when we listen to like other people like podcasts and then they give advice on relationship like we don't necessarily take it and then implement it 100 to our relationship right away yeah because it's like we build like a six year relationship it yeah. doesn't make sense we're listening to like a someone that's like an influencer that's been in like with her boyfriend for like two years and then yeah. tells us to do this and then yeah like we take it but obviously we, we take it in consideration but we put it into like how into we want your own like like just for an example like whenever people like always say like oh like um this is actually common like a lot of people they don't like being with their like partners for like too long yeah like um everyday example because yeah. some people say like they need more room to like miss each other yeah which is like 100 like like I un- it's understandable but i think that us we kind of like enjoy seeing each other yeah day. yeah and like but it's not like something that we're gonna like just change because people say it's healthier yeah because if we've if we've had like no issue or like not many issues about it then there's like no point there's no point in changing it but that's just like that i I think that is just like really understanding each other okay but i have a question because i remember before like when we used to when i was like when we were both like more younger like i feel like um I feel like we used to like argue a lot. We used to get into fights. Like not only me and you, but like me and me and James. Yeah. But it, like this is even in the notebook. But the thing is that like I realized that like I'm, yeah, although we used to get into arguments when we were younger, I feel like nowadays like we almost I can't even remember the last time we actually got mad at each other for something. Like yeah, I know. <laughs> and it's the same thing with like for example like James. But like I have a question though because it's like the thing is that, like I want to talk about like a bit like about myself like just like real quick and i want to ask if like you you can in a way relate and like yeah, i want yeah, yeah. like your input on this because yeah. sometimes like you know the reason like you know how like I, we almost like never argue with each other and i never even argue with nine or tata to be honest like too like yeah i never argue with nine and tata like it's almost all these like good vibes like just for everybody in the family but the thing is that, like sometimes like i feel like there's advantages like of course i'm very very grateful because it's like it's very it's like whenever i enter the house like it's very like a good it's a very good environment and like i'm happy to be home yeah because and like i'm very grateful because i know like some people don't have that um but the thing is that like i feel like in a way a disadvantage is that like i feel like as a result it's very rare that like uh, i'm a confrontational person like i feel like and like i feel like but like you know when people get into like heated arguments or they're like screaming at each other i would never be able to do that mm-hmm. but like the thing is that like when it came to when it comes to jonah like when you guys get into arguments like have you ever like do you feel like you know like how like us and our family we never get mad at each other like we never really argue Do you feel like that, like, has affected, like, your relationship with Joanna? Like, do you feel like sometimes it's kind of hard to argue? Because, I don't know, for me, sometimes, like, when I'm talking to certain people and, like, the argument gets heated, as soon as I feel like it gets heated, I feel like I get, like, a lump in my throat and that's when I know, like, okay, like, I'm just gonna chill. Like, I'm, I feel oh, like I'm going okay. too hard. Yeah. Do you feel that, do you feel that too sometimes? Like, sometimes, because I, I feel like a physical reaction. Like, sometimes I get, like, a lump in my throat. Like, sometimes I feel, like, a bit of tears in my eyes and I'm, like, okay, I'm gonna, like, I'm, I'm not gonna go, like, all the way. Like, I'm just gonna, like, chill, take a deep breath. Mm. I don't know. I uh, I think that that I don't know, I feel like I I'm not really like 100% like experienced with that, but also like it's not something that crosses my mind, that crossed yeah. my mind. I just think that we don't like argue a lot. Yeah. Just cuz like we don't really like even argue to begin with. Yeah, argue to begin with like mm. we we kind of like already uh, all, like agree with with each other like a lot. Yeah. Sometimes like our arguments and our fights are like like 
They're more funny. Such like yeah, funny stuff like, and then sometimes like, uh, um, hey, what was the question again? Just so I don't like go off track. Oh no no no, it's fine. If you wanted to go off track, to be honest, I got like it's just like I wanted to ask like, like um, because you now we'd never really argue in our family, or like mm-hmm. I've never really placed I never I never really placed myself in situations or like in front of people that I like, constantly argue. Mm-hmm. Like like in a heated sense, but like do you feel and like I, that's the thing I wanted to ask if like you felt the same way like you don't really argue with people and like in a way like how does that affect like your relationship with Joanna if like ever you guys argue, do you feel like oh. do you feel like it changes anything like, no no okay yeah yeah okay not yeah. I can understand now like, yeah I, th- I think like um I don't think it really affected it, cause like, yeah. I think like, um, yeah she's not really also like the type to really argue so. Yeah. Like, when she, when we ended up, like, being together, it's, like, it's still kind of, like, like, um, how you say, like, the way I treat an argument is the same way I, tr- like, the, the, the same way I treat an argument, like, with her, is probably, like, the same way I would treat an argument if ever it came, like, to our, like, in our family. family yeah. It's, like, 100%, like, no shouting. Yeah. Just a lot like, of it is, like, just, like, like, silence. Like, yeah. just taking a time to, like, to think, to, like, think. Sometimes like it, like um, sometimes I like just say like, the most like random things like yeah. Sometimes I'll just say like a like such a random like um counter like, counter um I say counter argument, argument, but just to like just to like like so so bad to the point where like it just doesn't make sense, <laughs> just to just to like kind of remind myself that like it's not that it's not like a serious yeah. like, argument, and yeah. sometimes like when an argument goes like so down like so, like when 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 I feel like an argument is going deep. When like there's literally like no reason for it to be deep. Yeah. I end up just like trying to like bring up the mood and then just try to, like yeah. either like laugh or just try to like tickle her. Yeah. But yeah, I think I think like it's the same thing. Like, I I think I feel like I still treat the same like I still have like the same way of like treating like a yeah. like a like argument. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, but so the next thing I wanna I wanna touch on, cause so like um. The thing is that, like, I feel like especially, like, focusing on, like, a more creative thing. Because, you know, like, on looking at it, like, on a... In a more, like, society point of view. You know, like, how... Because sometimes, to be honest, I feel kind of guilty. Like, you know, I'm I'm still going to school. Yeah. But then after that, uh, like, I often, like, skip classes. To be yeah. honest, like, classes that aren't important. And, like, I'm, I just go to skip. And after that, I just go in the library, read a book. Like, if I... Or, like, I just go downtown. Or I just focus on, like, my own content. Yeah. And, like, I'm focusing more on, like... Like, my mindset, or, like, when it comes to my list of priorities, I feel like school is probably at the bottom. I feel like I'm just doing the bare minimum. And my, I feel like my, when it comes to, like, my creative things, like, writing this channel and, like, my group channel, I feel like that's what's really on my mind, like, yeah. 80% of the time. But the thing is that, like, a lot of people, they, a lot of people, especially, like, my age and your age, too, I feel like they, I don't know, we can't speak on everybody, but, like, I feel like a majority, they focus more just on, like, you know, like, going to school, working a job and all that. Mm-hmm. And you know how, like, we're, we're in a way, like, living, like, a lot, like, a more, like, we're living, like, in a way, like, a different lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like, the lifestyle that you're living, yeah. where, like, you're, you're not really working, necessarily, yeah. like, you know, like, traditional, like, like corporate, yeah, like, office. corporate salary, office job, and you're just more working from home and you're working from, like, you're working just on your own business. Yeah. Um, is there ever a time where, like, you feel like you're, you're behind or do you feel like you, you're judged for, like, the lifestyle you live? Or do you not even, um, like, focus on that at all? That's, that's like, a good question because it's, yeah. like, um, like, I think about it, like, every single day. Yeah. But, like, I, I, I definitely say I, I don't feel judged. Yeah. Not at all. Because at the end of the day, like, um, like, I don't feel judged because I'm, like, super happy doing it. Yeah. So, if ever, like, I do feel judged, it makes no sense because, like, I can't, I can't, like, I can't be sad that someone's probably like thinking like oh look at this guy he's like at home just making clothes but like yeah in my deep in my mind it's like why would i be sad about that because it's like something like i'm i'm super like passionate, yeah, yeah, happy about. passionate. maybe i would be like judge if i was like not if i was doing something that i didn't like yeah then probably i would feel a certain way but on that like point no i don't feel judged but i i do feel like every day i feel like um how you say not necessarily guilty but sometimes I feel a bit like, like it, it doesn't feel like real, in yeah. a way, like it, yeah. it it's like it feels like surreal. Yeah, like, like we're living in like a a time like this. Yeah. 
but at the same time like i i i feel like i understand like you where i like what you're saying yeah like you spend more time like like um doing like focusing on work with like your friends and stuff yeah but you shouldn't like i feel like you i i'm not sure do you feel guilty about that because i feel like you, no that's the thing because like the, the way that i look at it because to me like I, I generally feel the same way too like whenever i'm working with my friends or like i'm just working on like passions of mine like i feel like time just passes by so fast and i feel like i'm in the flow of things but after when i when i zoom out and i just think about like just my life like on a like from a societal standpoint you could say i don't know what else like what else way to put it but like sometimes yeah like i i do feel like kind of like I do feel kind of guilty in the sense that, like, you know, like, how school and my and my mind is, like, in the bottom of my priorities. I still feel, like, kind of guilty because the thing is that, like, Nana and Tata, like, or, I don't know, Tata is more open-minded with the entrepreneurship yeah. things now. But, like, Nana, like, still wants me to go to, like, attend class, go to school and all that. Mm-hmm. And whenever, like, I tell Nana, like, oh, like, I had a class, like, from 2.30 to 4.30, but I just skipped to do something else. Yeah. Like, I feel kind of guilty, but at the same time, too, like, I know, like, I know the things that, like, I remember, you know, like, my last Instagram post. I was talking about like how like I feel like I've been living my life for nine, like my parents, but the more and more I focus on my passions, the more I feel like I'm living life for myself. Yeah. But at the same time too, like it's kind of hard because like I have I I'm trying to find a balance between like living life for myself, but also like still fulfilling the responsibilities that like Nana and Tata like yeah expect out of me. Because the thing is like Tata like I remember he was talking to me and he he was actually said like he said like oh you know like if I was your guys' age like he sat down we were just eating. And it was, like, a really quick conversation because I think he had to go delivery. We just randomly, like, was... We are eating shopao. Like, it was me, Tata, and Nana. Yeah. Eating shopao and, like, noodles. And then after he said, like, oh, you know, like, at your guys' age, like, it's it's a really good thing. Like, um, I really like what Kwikun's doing with his clothes. I would have, like, if I was your guys' age, I would have definitely started a business. Yeah. And, like, I would have... I would have definitely, like, um, yeah, like, not worked a 9 to 5. And he said that, like, it's still a good thing that you're working at a cafe. Because, you know, sometimes, like, I come home from, like, you know, like, the shifts where, like, I get home at, like, 10, 11. And, like, sometimes I have conversations with Tata and, like, I'm pretty tired. And I feel like when you're really tired, like, you're more honest with your feelings and, like, your emotions. Yeah, especially and when just, you had a bad day. Yeah, and I just tell Tata, like, oh, yeah, like, it was, like, I'm pretty tired. But at the same time, like, I just tell him, like, straight up, like, I'm happy, though, that, that like, this job is teaching me a lesson. Mm-hmm. Because the thing is that, like, I know I, I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. Like, I don't want to yeah. just work under a boss and then go to school and then... And then after that, like, because, like, the thing is, I'm so grateful, you know what I mean? Like, you got me yeah. a job, and I'm getting paid. And the people there are pretty nice, but sometimes the customers are kind of weird. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like, sometimes, like, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, like, just really tired. And then after that, like, I just tell them, like, yeah, like, it's it's still a valuable lesson. Because, like, now I know that, like, I'm going to have to go harder on my passions. Yeah. And, like, Tate says, and, like, Tate agrees. Yeah. And, yeah, it's, like, it's, uh, it's a good thing. Like, I feel like, I feel like it's a good thing, but for me, yeah, like, to circle back on what you asked me, like, mm-hmm. earlier. Yeah, like, I I know, like, for me personally, and I know, like, looking back on my life, I'd be way more happier just mm-hmm. focusing on what makes me happy and, like, living life for myself, but still, like, sometimes I feel kind of guilty, to be honest. Yeah, no, but, like, that's true, too. Like, it makes sense, because, like, like, the reason is, like, the, the like, in my, my situation is that, yeah. like, um, when I was, like, around your age, yeah, I like I already had like a program that I because like definitely like when I was studying accounting yeah there's never in the back of my mind like I wanted to start like a clothing brand and, yeah like, I, I definitely wanted to start a clothing brand but it was never like a thing where it's like oh uh, like I'm never like I'm not gonna uh, like I'm gonna just like do that while I do accounting yeah it was like I was just focused on like um on school yeah and like I I, I enjoyed it I enjoyed school and like also a part of it was like I enjoyed like the, like the whole like um community aspect and all that. Yeah, yeah. So like to me, school, I saw it more like, of like a, I saw I saw school differently than like what you saw school. Yeah. Because like right now the way you see school is like English class, history class. Yeah, it's yeah. Basically, like, kind of like another high school. Yeah. Just in, in a way where like you're still learning, you still you still feel like you're learning useless things. Yeah. So then, like, at that point, you're kind of, like, associating school with, like, still that. And you're, like, now, now you kind of have, like, the difference of, like, like, I have a life outside of school, and I also have, like, school. So now you, you kind of have, like, two things at once. Yeah. Where me, I, I, I kind of just had school. Yeah. Which I already enjoyed. So, like, I think, like, the way I see it for you is that, like, it makes sense if you, if you feel like that. Like, 
you don't feel happy at school, but you feel like enjoyment doing something else. Yeah. It's because you found that something else that you enjoy. But yeah. definitely if, if I was in that situation, like if I was doing accounting and I had something that I enjoy doing, like example, starting a clothing brand, I'll definitely feel the same way. But I think like, w- like the position that you're in is already like such a great one because you already found at the age that you want, even if it's not something you're going to pursue forever, like starting a YouTube channel with your friends, but you already have like something that you're like somewhat passionate about. Yeah. And like example for me, accounting was something I liked, not necessarily something I was passionate about. Yeah. So it's two different things. So like at the age I was like 18, I didn't really find that I didn't have like something that I can put, like put my time into besides like school. Mm. So for you, like it makes sense. Like if, if you have, like something you're passionate and something that you're not really you're gonna obviously like find some kind of like fulfillment doing the other thing yeah so like f- like feeling guilty is not something that you should like necessarily feel just because like obviously like right now with school it's not something that you're not passionate about it's it's like social science it's, yeah there's nothing there's not really something that comes out of it besides like yeah classes being done yeah so and to be honest like, I don't know, because I, I already talked to you about this, and I was, I was actually talking to it about my friends. I was thinking, I was really considering, like, next semester, I just transfer to, like, a writing program and see if I really enjoy it. Yeah. Because I, 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 I remember I told you, like, oh, I probably won't transfer because it will probably kill my passion. But the thing is, I never even tried it. Yeah, exactly. And, like, what if, like, I end up going, and it ends up being, like, really fun, and it ends up, like, evolving my, mm-hmm. my writing skills, like... Yeah, well, and exa- like, exactly, like, and that's the same thing, like, sometimes, like, something that you enjoy so much, you have to see it, like... How it is if you're gonna be doing it like full time? Yeah. Cause I don't know, like um, the way I see it with like clothing is like it's not a hundred percent all like ninety percent of the times I'm like a hundred percent enjoying it. Yeah. There's still like the the hard stuff, like kind of like if like in a school scale, like yeah, it's probably like a lot of the times it's doing homework. Yeah. And then the other times is like doing the, the fun. tests, which is, which testing testing is considered like example like drops. Yeah. So like. Most of the time, like ninety percent of the time, I'm doing like boring homework. Yeah, and it's only ten percent of the time where it's like you get to like actually like, you get to see like everything like come yeah. up, come out. Yeah. So like, I I feel like that's what you should do with call uh, with with writing, but also like expecting that, having having to like think that way. Like it's not like you're gonna go to like, you're gonna go to uh, literature, and then from there like a hundred percent of the things you do is gonna be like like fun, fun. and Ooh. that's just accepting like like life. Like I'm sure so many artists there's times where they like like no matter how happy they sound like in interviews and saying like this is truly what i love to do it's definitely something they truly love to do but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're 100 percent happy like yeah every single like step of the way i'm sure there's times in the studios where they're like they're really like in that like point of yeah. like just giving up yeah but it's the fact like that they still don't give up and mm. they see like their their art like come out yeah. that's like the the whole like point of it yeah so yeah i think like i like 100 percent, you should do that like try it yeah just it's, writing program yeah and yeah. but like uh, like i think just make sure you have the right like right yeah have the right mindset and have yeah. the right like expectations to yeah. do it okay yeah no that's, yeah I, I feel like by next semester i definitely gotta talk to nana and tata about it but yeah i just want to i just want to like do it and after just see how it goes yeah. but also like talking about like your your clothing brand because you you started it and I don't know, cause for wait, how long? How many years has it been since you you started it? Like at this point, I think like I I would say like really like starting starting it like actually putting like yeah. not necessarily putting the full time into it, but the time would like I would take it like serious where I actually have like like small meetings and yeah. like like kind of connecting and all that. I'd say like maybe like a year. Like, a year has been maybe like a bit less than a year. Yeah. Okay, cause the thing is so. I feel like, for example, like with with my whole thing, like with like writing and just a book. I remember like that just came about like when I was, when I was just at Walmart, and mm-hmm. after like I just like asked I asked the, like my the, um, like one of my supervisors like what do they think of the concept or like the idea of me writing a book, and then after that, like I said like oh I'm gonna only release I I remember I told him like I said like I'm only gonna release it when I get like really old, mm-hmm. like I want to just write a book, keep it secret, and after only release it when like I'm sixty. I don't know why I felt that way. But after they said like oh no you should release it because I want to read it. And then I feel like that's what really, like, in a way, um, like, sparked the driving me to, like, really finish the book. And yeah. I finished it in, like, a year worth of writing. And after I ended up dropping it, 
Um, and the thing is, like, right now, the second book that I want to write, I want to adapt it into a movie. And, like, I already got the concept down. Like, I just got to, like, write. Like, I was thinking, like, to, to fully, like, write down the concepts and, like, start writing the stories by tomorrow. Because yeah. tomorrow I'm going to be, like, really, really free the entire day. Um, but the thing is that, like, because, like, asking, like, you know, when it comes to your clothes, like, how would you say it? Like, what, what do you, was there any, like, thing that, like, sparked... Like, was there any, you know, like, in French, in writing, you know, when they say élément déclencheur? Yeah. Like, what was your élément déclencheur? Because mine was, like, the whole supervisor thing. Bob, but you, like, how how did you know that, like, you're, like, okay, I'm going to, like, take, like, yeah. my interest in, of clothing, like, into, like, an actual brand? Oh, okay. I, I think, like, it's good that you, like, ask questions like this, because, like, sometimes, I don't know, like, sometimes I'm, like, so, like, like, on the go that, like, yeah. I don't take the time to, like, think. Yeah. Like, I, I have a journal, but I, I haven't journaled, like, too often. Yeah. And I really thought, like, I, I don't take the time to think about this, but, like, now that you ask it, yeah. like, I already, I could already, like, imagine, like, I can already, like, remember that moment, but yeah. it was, for sure, like, the moment where, like, um, it was during, like, kind of, like, during quarantine. Yeah. And I, I, I got my first sewing machine, and, like, I ended up, like, sewing, like, a pair of pants. And I started sewing, like, these small stuff. Yeah. And then, like, just people, like, kind of, like, showing like somewhat of interest yeah and then so i just decided like oh let's let's see how it is like if you just like sell one like i just wanted to like see or have a feeling of like oh it, it well how would it be like just selling one product and yeah like i ended up like making like um it was actually like a someone like commissioned me yeah like they they, they asked me like oh can you make a bag like this yeah and was it a tuna bag? Yeah, it was a tuna bag. And yeah. then I, um, I was like, yeah, for sure. And then I ended up like making it. Yeah. And I liked it so much to the point where I asked the guy, like, like I, 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 cause it's like kind of like in his, in my mind, it's like his creation cause yeah. he wanted it. Yeah. Even if I sold it, it's still at the end of the day, his it's concept. still his concept. So I, and I ended up asking him like, oh, I really like the bag I made for you. Like, would you mind like if I just post it online and like try to like sell it to other people? Yeah. And he was like, oh, yeah, sure. And then ever since that, like, I, I posted it. And then, like, I got, so, like, a good amount of orders on it. Yeah. And, like, from there, I, I I just took, like, the opportunity to, like, just, like, like move forward. And yeah. then I ended up, like, keep I, I would keep, like, just sell, like, making stuff and then just selling yeah. it. And I, I kind of got, like, somewhat, like, addicted to, like, the feeling of, like, like the whole process of, like, yeah creating that like piece and then the satisfaction of like posting it online and seeing how it how it yeah, goes. How it goes. So I would yeah. say like the Elimar de Construct would just be like probably like when my friend asked me to make yeah. that one bag for What was his name? I'm pretty sure it was it was um Brandon. Wow, okay, Brandon. Yeah. Yeah he was the one that yeah he was the first one to ask me. I remember he would always like he would always like he posted it on like fit form. At the he posted on fit form? Like he was he was at the gym and then yeah. he, like like um a lot of people would just take like, like a, uh, just like a um, like an outfit pic, and he ended up like taking like a small outfit pic yeah. with the bag, and I was like so happy, and that was like actually my first like, the first picture of like um, someone wearing something yeah, I made. They made yeah. yeah. No, but like, cause this is like a funny memory about that, about the tuna bag. <laughs> you know, like, you know when they came to the tuna bag. Cause I remember like you first bought like I remember like everybody like I remember like when it came to people showing interest like when you first dropped it I still remember this like I remember you bought it or not you bought it um like a lot of a lot of people in my friend group like bought it and I remember like yeah Anthony Dang I remember you showed support you bought it oh yeah and then, yeah he bought it and then after I remember another person that bought it was also JJ and this is like a memory that I have. yeah <laughs> I just found it funny but the thing is that like at the same time too like cause like now like looking back at it like. Even then, I didn't care. Or, like, I remember I, I still kept the same opinion that I had then. Yeah. And, like, I'll still keep the same opinion now. Yeah. Because it's just, like, I feel like I, like, jean like, I feel like when you're in, the, when you're in there, like, you, you, like, a lot of people had that jean Claude mindset. But now, like, you're able to look out of it. You, I'm, I still remember this. I remember, like, it was during lunch. And I remember, like, during lunch, I remember it was always, like, during, like, sec three or sec four. I'm pretty sure it was sec four. Yeah. Um, I remember, like, JJ was in sec five. And then, like, the thing is, that, like, JJ was always the type of person not always, but, like, majority of the time, you always, during lunch, you saw him during the complex. Yeah. Oh, uh, you saw him at the complex, and I still remember this, like, sometimes we walk to visit the, like, after going to, like, I don't know, like, you know, the strip mall? We'd walk back, and sometimes I'd, like, we'd go back, and then uh, go, we'd go strip mall, walk back, 
go to the complex and like talk to JJ and like he'd be there with um Aaron and like his friend group. Yeah. And then I remember like like yo he was wearing the tuna bag. And then after that, like I remember like everything looked fine, okay? And then afterwards I remember, like, he talked to me. Or, like, I, I was talking to him when we were walking home because we, we used to walk home. Yeah. And I remember, like, he was kind of down. And he was kind of down. And then after, he kept telling me, like, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, people were telling him. I think I know. They said that, like, the bag looked like a caveman bag. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, like, he was kind of down. But he said, like, no, nah, like, yo, it's actually a clean bag. And, and he kept saying, like, oh, no, they just don't see the vision yet. They don't yeah, see it. I and then I was, like, when I, in my eyes, I was, like, I just found it really funny. But at the same time, too, like, I, I had the gen, I had, I saw this, the opinion is like, you know, like, why would you even care about, like, these, uh, like, yeah. these Jean Mentrois, like, Nike Tech wearing, like, what they care? Because, yeah. like, of course, they're clearly not going to see the vision because they're not into the fashion, like, the yeah. same way that we are or the same way that we know it. Yeah. And that's the thing, like, we don't see, like, you know, like, they wear Nike Tech and, like, Puffer, Montclair yeah, and all that. Yeah, they see that as, like, yeah, the like they see, see that, they, they see that as, like, fashion. We don't see it that way. But it goes the other way around, too. Like, we're wearing, tuna, like, things like Tuno bags. They think it's caveman, um, like, bags. <laughs> but the thing is that, like, in their eyes, the Montclair is, like, what's clean. Yeah. But after the Tuno yeah, bags, yeah. Th- that's trash. But we but probably like, think, like, the caveman, for them, is, like, the Nike. Type yeah, thing. that's the thing. Like, it's, it's just, like, a matter of fashion. But, like, yeah. I, like, in my eyes, I was, like, bro, like, yo, just don't care about it. And he said, like, yeah, like, I'm, I'm going to, like, keep on, like, wearing it. But I think, like, that was, like, one of the only times I saw him with it. Yeah. Like, but, like, if JJ's listening to this, like, I don't know, maybe he did continue wearing it. No, 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 but I think from what he definitely I, did, I think. Yeah, but from what I remember, I don't know, I didn't see him much with it after. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, that makes me, that makes me, like, like, that doesn't make me, like, like, uh, not even, like, a single percent, like, sad. Yeah, no, it's just funny. Because it's, like, it's like, no, because it's, like, like, <laughs> Everyone had, like, like, their own, like, thought. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's just, like, a... Like what's what's so funny is like I don't really see it. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't really see like how it looks like a cape man. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like that's the thing. Like I I'm pretty I'm like ninety percent sure that was like the general feedback. Like people were calling it like a caveman bag. <laughs> I said it was a cape man. <laughs> I don't know, but it's like you know like you know the Flintstones, like the the Flintstones, like you know like their aesthetic where it's like just like just like it's like, like just one piece like clothing. Okay. You get what I mean? Like, you know, like, the Flintstones, they just wear, like, pieces oh, okay. of clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, thought, like, Tuno, but, like, since there was no, like, zipper, there was no, like, Because it wore, like, this. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did JJ ever tell you that? Or he didn't? No, I remember he, him telling, saying that, telling me a story that, like, he wore one kind of thing and, like, people weren't really seeing it, but he kept saying, like, oh, you don't see the vision and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he never said, I'm not, like, <laughs> Like, like I'm looking at the picture and it's, this is like kind of like the way it's yeah. <laughs> like if, if oh you wore like if you had like if you were like shirtless and you wore that yeah. like, you exactly like this yeah. <laughs> no but that's that's uh, that's cool because yeah. they're creative for thinking yeah you know, no actually <laughs> yeah no like I can't I can't look at it as a rose but I, I feel like back then especially like if you get judged especially in like a high school setting you'd feel like kind of weird about it but I remember, like, at that point, I remember even, like, at that point, it's like, four, it's like, five, I really did not care about, like, because like, I was already with my friend group. And, yeah. like, we, we already, like, just, like, stuck together. And, like, at that point, like, I just really cared about what was going on between each other, like, between us. I didn't really care yeah. about, like, the outside. Yeah. But I think, like, if, if ever someone got sad about so like, say, like, if, if ever someone got sad because yeah. of someone else's saying, like, oh, like, uh, yeah. like, insulting, like, what you're wearing... Obviously, like, I would some, sometimes feel a certain way just because, like, sometimes, like, I create, like, example, like, I'm wearing, like, an outfit that I kind of, like, yeah. I have, like, the jacket that I made and then, yeah. like, just random pants I'm wearing. Yeah. I would feel a certain, like, a bit, like, sad, more on the aspect of, like, someone saying, like, oh, it wasn't made, yeah. like, that nice. Yeah. Rather than, I wouldn't then they just say, like, saying, like, if someone said, like, oh, it doesn't look good, I wouldn't really mind, but, like, if it's something, like, Oh, they didn't he didn't make it really like, like yeah he, like it didn't it wasn't crafted as well and maybe like that I would be sad about but besides that like I, I feel like it doesn't I wouldn't say this like, it kind of doesn't make sense like feel sad about someone like roasting your outfit yeah. just because like it, like if you genuinely like the, the thing the like the outfit you're wearing why would like it doesn't make sense that you're you're sad yeah about someone saying that like, n- like, kind of like, s- why would you be sad about someone saying 
like something about what you like yeah that's the thing it's like because it's like you like it and like everybody yeah. just has a different taste yeah and like the thing is that I, I actually do agree with you with what you mean specifically because the thing is that like you know like when it comes to haters yeah because the things that haters i feel like they never like there's a difference between just hating and constructive criticism and like yeah you, you mentioned it you know like let's say like you built you you build a product and like you said like people instead of like roasting just saying oh i don't like it i feel like that you could just filter out because it's just like that's just a matter of you like it or you don't like it like that's yeah. just a matter of personal preference it doesn't matter but when a person like really critiques and says says like oh you did this wrong you could have done that or this or that better yeah then. i feel like that's like a better way of critiquing like even though you might be a bit sad about it at the same time too it's like it's actually constructive and in a way i feel like that's like the most valuable feedback like of yeah. all because that person that 100 percent is telling you like oh you're doing this stitching wrong or whatever like they have they have a background in like what you're doing yeah exactly. so like it's that's like really valuable information and like that's that's also like um I remember, I remember I wrote about this in my journal at like 2 or 3 a.m. I remember like I, I like realized that, that like, yeah, when it comes to like haters or just people that just don't dislike like what you do. Yeah. Yeah, you got to realize that like these people, like, you know, for example, like if like a, another analogy we could talk about is like, let's say like you're making a beat. Yeah. And then after that, like um, you're like, or like, let's say you're making a beat or like you're right, you're, you're making a painting. Like the same way a, a person that like, like, if, like, a random person comes to you, listens to the beat, and says, like, no, that's trash. Yeah. Then, like, you could just, you could just, like, filter that out, like, in my eyes. Or, like, I feel like that's so easy. Because the thing is that, like, like, they're not a producer, you get what I mean? Yeah. Like, let's say, like, I was, I was, I don't know, like, at the same time, people might consider it, like, an ego thing. But, like, to be honest, I think, like, that's just, like, I don't no, think it's an ego sense. thing at all. But it's, like, let's say, like, um, I don't know, let's say, like, a person were to, like, a hypo hypothetically hate on what I'm writing. Yeah. I would just like to be honest. I would just look at them and just start laughing because I would think to myself like, "Have you ever written anything? Like, yeah, have you written a yeah, book? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. if you wrote a book and then told me all the things that you hate about my book, then I'll take it into consideration. I might be a bit sad about it because like that's like it's a critique. Yeah. But at the same time, like I'll take that advice and move forward. But like, you're not a writer. You get what I mean? It's the yeah. same thing with like producers. Like, you're not a pro like if you listen to my beat and say tra it's trash, I understand you don't like it, but you're not a producer. Same thing with like a for example like a painter. Like a painter, I feel like they understand like they understand specifically like the techniques and all that and mm -hmm. like getting like getting hate from like a painter while you're uh, also a painter of your own is way more valuable than just some random people yeah yeah that's true because like like at that point when you're when you're just it's kind of like example if you were to um example you're 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 making like beats like yeah like um like ken carson type yeah beat. like and someone says like oh i don't like this beat yeah like it, it's not that good yeah but then like you end up like listening to what type of music he likes and he listens to steve lacy yeah and at that point like it makes sense that he doesn't like it yeah like why would you care like if example your niche is like the ken carson like why would you feel sad about a steve lacy fan not liking ken yeah, carson that's the thing like, oh, it doesn't make sense you, you can't make a ken carson beat and expect yeah you... every single like artist in every single niche to like that specific yeah, like, yeah you can't make it so, really happy. like it's the same thing with like like it, you're bound to get hate when you're when you like niche when you niche whatever you're making yeah just because like but at the same time it's a good thing because like the more you niche the more you're targeting specific specific people and like if you really have a passion in that niche then those are the really the opinions that value like mm. that really value to you and like it makes sense if you're niching, then like everyone else from different niches don't like what you like. It makes sense. Like just the way like you wouldn't like a specific niche. Yeah. Because you don't have like much like, yeah. like idea what's going on in that niche. Like, yeah, yeah. It, it just makes sense. And the same thing like what you said, like you would feel much more sad about like, like a producer not liking um, like your beat or like a writer not liking your writing. But at the same time, that's like, that's the type of it's it, the reason it's making you sad is because it's actual like words speaking yeah. to you yeah like it actually make like they're actually like they're not just saying like blah 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 like yeah i don't i'm not even a writer yeah but this is not a good book yeah. like it, when it's actually like a writer saying it like you can actually you can actually put value to like whatever yeah, he's yeah, saying yeah. like and what he's saying you know it's not like something that like doesn't make sense yeah yeah but no it's good it's good that like it's good that you you think that way too like that you wouldn't let like specific people affect yeah. you just 
Just because, because you know that they haven't yeah, written a book and they, you know that they haven't yeah. like gone through like the struggle of like because I'm sure like the same way I have like those days where like I just feel like stopping and giving up mm-hmm. and then like some days where it's like it's so easy it's so easy like you have those days and it's like yeah if if no one experienced that then like who are they to tell someone else yeah. that took like two years to write a book when yeah, they haven't even true. taking like the first page the yeah. first step of like yeah. taking in a page yeah okay but this isn't one of the questions that i that i really wrote but like i just want to like bounce off this topic have you ever because things i talk about haters but like um have you ever experienced like an actual hater though because things that me personally yeah, I'm talk- yeah, yeah. you <laughs> actually have yeah i had i I've, I've got a few yeah like i remember um uh let me, let me just try I'm trying to think of like a, like my favorite one well actually like you know my series of reworking the thrift yeah like it actually did so good like like number wise that yeah. I was bound to get like haters yeah yeah of course but, like it was it was like fun yeah. um but yeah like there's a few instances but at the same time like I don't think any of them affected me. yeah 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 but like but what was like what was like one that like stuck out to you like what did you found funny or something I'm funny um because I, <laughs> I ended up, like, reworking, um, like, these pair of denims. Yeah. But, like, I knew I didn't like them. Like, I, I, I just ended up doing it just because I thought that there was, like, traction in the yeah. reworking the thrift, like, series. So I just tried my best to, like, get, make, like, something as fast as possible. Um, but, like, I remember he, um, he ended up uh, sending me, like, he just, like, didn't even say a message. He just, like, texted me a video. And then the video was like something of like a uh, um like an NBA player, and he was on TV. And then the NBA player like it was out of context, but yeah. basically the NBA player just said, "They saying it, they saying it." <laughs> 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 and he ended up sending me that video. <laughs> I was it, it, like I was laughing. Yeah, it was, it was so funny. <laughs> like it was a good. <laughs> it's such a like a, a good way to like. Like yeah. if ever I got a hate comment, that's I would exactly. I would love to have like if yeah. I could have like unlimited hate comments, like if if every single hate comments were memes, I would be so much happier. Yeah, yeah, I could yeah, actually yeah. like just scroll down yeah. without having to read it. Yeah, and I don't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, no, because for me personally, you know, when it came to my book, to be honest, like when it came to my own personal works, to be honest, I haven't really received like necessarily any negative feedback. But it's also because like you like especially with like where you're at. I feel like you're gonna attract like a lot more just like random like random people you never met before, especially yeah. with the series, like the reworking the thrift series and also like your clothing. Yeah. But me personally, to be honest, like a lot of the people that like that were like showing like a lot of or, like support are mainly just people I already knew or like just mutual friends. Yeah. Or like mutual friends of like mutual friends. Um there wasn't really random people like you know like how like the first video, like the first first reel I, I uploaded, like it did pretty well. Yeah, like, oh, I, yeah even, I, remember that. I haven't even received like any negative comments but i've received negative comments you know when i was uh when especially when i when i um make content with my friends because the thing is that like we're, we're just a group of people and sometimes we do reactions mm-hmm. and the thing is that like i remember this was like one um instance where like we got a good amount of hate because i remember we were, we were reacting to um to lil nas x like you know lil nas x like you oh know, yeah, the video, yeah we reacted yeah. a video of uh or like we reacted to the video of like him like um basically getting like crucified like he was like like he does this a lot like yeah, you know yeah, he was like yeah. doing the whole thing with satan and all that but the thing is that um you know like in the video if you watch it because the people that are actually comment like the hate comments they, they, they i feel like they didn't even really watch the video because you know what we said we said okay if the song is actually good because to be honest even though lil nas x like he's a very controversial person to be honest he makes pretty catchy music so yeah. we said like okay like if the music is catchy then we'll like we'll agree like we won't just say it's bad just because of the message yeah that like he's trying to film or that he's trying to portray through the music video but after like we're reacting to it and we're just like throwing out because like Lil Nas X like, you can tell like he's not being serious mm-hmm. or like his his joke his like music videos are meant to be like taken in like a satire way so yeah. we're just like throwing around jokes but they weren't like homophobic at all or anything like they weren't even like homophobic like we're just like joking around like going along with the video and towards the end we said like yo the song is actually pretty good but it's just the fact that he's disrespecting religion I feel like that's like kind of crazy yeah. we said something like that like that's that's all we said and then you know people in the comments I'm sure they didn't even watch the video because they were saying like, oh, you guys aren't even authentically Christian. Like, so, like they were saying like some comments like that and we're like, 
And I remember we responded, we were like, yo, like, how do you, like, you don't even know us. How do you, how do you know that we're not authentically Christian? Yeah. And like, I remember there's like a few people, like two or three people in the comments that defend us saying like, oh, yo, like, you guys didn't even watch the full video. Like, like they weren't attacking Lil Nas X personally. They were just, they just didn't like the fact that they, mm -hmm. that like he just dissed a religion. Yeah. And that's the thing. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's the only instance we got hit. Um, but to be honest, yeah, like we, we, I remember like the mindset, I remember like, I remember there was like also other videos too. Yeah. That like sometimes like um yeah, sometimes it just the the reception didn't really do that good. But like the mindset to keep going forward. I remember this is like also what helped me like I remember I realized you know like the whole thing is the whole thing I was talking about like with the painters and producers. Yeah. It's like um I remember like I, I, I realized that at like two or three AM and then after like bef and I re realized that like a week or two before all the hate comments came in into our channel. And I remember, like, I just, I told, like, my friends, because, like, all of our friends, like, we, we weren't really, like, really shook by it at all. But, like, I remember, like, I just, like, I just, like, reminded them, like, yo, like, these people are forever just going to be commenters. You know what I mean? Like, they're not doing what we're doing. Like, yeah. you're forever just going to stay in the comment section, so it doesn't really matter. Like, if, yeah. they're, like, all, if they're, like, on YouTube and they're active YouTubers and they're, like, saying things like that, maybe we take their advice into consideration. But, like, we're being respectful. That's like the main part. Yeah. Like we were being respectful even though Lil Nas X wasn't towards mm -hmm. the religion. Um and yeah, these people are just gonna remain in the comment section. Like they're like yeah. I, I, no, but I don't know. At the same time, like just because they don't make YouTube videos, like doesn't mean that you have to like um like ignore what they say. Yeah, but no, like, I, I but take I, into consideration, yeah. but like I didn't take it we didn't but we just didn't take it personally. Like we take it into consideration, but not like yeah. personally. Yeah, but I think the main thing is just like whether it made sense or not. Like Yeah. Like, like at that point, like, it's, like, it's just, like, ignorance on his part. Yeah. So, like, the hate that he he gave to you guys, like, has, like, basically, like, no value. Because right. just because of, like, it being so ignorant. Like, yeah. him saying that and you guys ha didn't even, like, like, it's, like, saying, like, oh, I made a video about, like, like, I don't know, like, best ways to feed, feed like, a dog. Yeah. After that, like, someone comments, like, oh, that's not how you're supposed to feed, like, the cats, though. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, it doesn't make no sense. Like, yeah, he didn't even yeah, finish, yeah, yeah. like, he didn't even he watch didn't the watch video. watch the video, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah that's not even, like, yeah, and the fact that people, like, back you guys up, like, those are the people that actually watch the yeah, video. Yeah, like, yeah, that's, yeah. and also, like, yeah, like, it, it, that comment just didn't make sense at all. Like, whether he's, like, a YouTuber or just a commenter. Or yeah, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's really random. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but, so, next question. This is going to be, like, um... Also tied to like just like creative work and all that. So next question, um, do you feel that you tie your identity to your work? If so, would you say it's a good thing or bad thing? Oh, okay, that's yeah. that's a good question too. Cause, yeah. Um, I say like, cause I, I I definitely say yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's like a good and a bad thing. Cause. When they start seeing your brand, example, like, my brand is Vesti Pears. Yeah. And they start they start seeing the brand as, like, Clint and, like, my partner, Ted. Like, it doesn't, it, the, the, the brand isn't, like, Vesti anymore. Like. It's just, like, oh, quick Clint and. Yeah, it's, like, yeah. Like, at that point, it's, like, I feel like it's, it's, that, we're, we're trying to, like, stem away from that. Like, we're trying to, like, um, kind of. How you say it? Like, we're not trying to put ourselves too much in the brand. Yeah. But just let the brand speak for itself. Yeah. Like, we're, we're trying to, like, not show ourselves as much anymore. And just, like, because we don't want to, like, be identified as, like, oh, that's Clan's brand or that's Ted's brand. Like, um, we want it to be, like, out, we want it to have its name on its own. Yeah. With, um, that's, like, I think, like, the, the bad part of it. But the good part about it is, like, um when when the brand is like under your name is like it, it's it's a good thing because at, at at the end of the day it's like the like whatever you how you say it, whatever you make is like what like like whatever you make is what you want yeah in a way yeah so like i think that's like the 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 like the good thing about it um wait, what was the question again so i could uh yeah so it's yeah. I just I like so the question is, do you feel that you tie your identity to your work? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I definitely like, 
I do, but I don't want it to be like too tight and too tight. Yeah, because also, because like for me personally, I I ask that question because the thing is that like, because uh, you know like how, like I just started writing. You know what I mean? Like I just published my first book. Yeah. But the thing is that like I feel like kind of weird saying like, oh, I'm a writer. Yeah. You know no, what I mean, like it's it's I don't like, like I don't like like I don't know. I feel like at the same time too, like um, um, I remember like I was talking, I was talking with a, I remember it's like a random random person, or not a random person. I know the person. But like I was on the way to the gym, I was on I was on the bus, the two like I was on the way to the gym, yeah. And then after that, like I, I talked to a person I haven't talked to in a while, and after that, um, she saw like my my whole book thing, and after that she said like, oh, it was like it's it's really it's really impressive, like you, um, because I remember like I was talking about something, and then after that she said like, oh, like you're, like the fact that you're able to say that she like you wrote a book at like such a young age is like a really good thing. And then I remember, like, there was also, like, another time, I remember I, I talked with, like, my supervisor at Walmart, and after she was, like, oh, like, no matter what, like, people say, like, you could just say, like, you wrote a book. Yeah. And, like, the thing is that, like, I, I kind of get what they mean, but at the same time, too, like, I don't want to, like, tie that yeah. into my identity. Like, it feels kind of, like, an ego thing. Like, it feels kind of, yeah, like, yeah. like, like the, the thing is that, like, they say, like, like, I remember, like, yeah, when I was on the bus and after, like, I saw her and after we were talking, she said that, like, oh, yeah, you wrote a book at such a young age, like, that's so impressive. Like, I feel like kind of, like, I'm not, I wouldn't say embarrassed, but I feel, like, kind of shy. Because yeah. it's, like, no, it's, it's, like, it's like, like, I, I, like, if you were to put it that way, like, it's kind of, like, it does sound kind of impressive, but at the same time, too, like, I feel like I got so much weight, like, so much... More. Yeah, so much more, like, to go, you know what I mean, before I can, yeah. like, say that. Because I don't want to, I don't <laughs> want to just, I don't want to just release my book and say to everybody, oh, yeah, I'm a writer. <laughs> no, like, that's, I feel the exact same way. Like, um, I'm glad that you feel that way, because, like, yeah. Um, I was gonna say something like, uh, what was I gonna say? Did you mean like three seconds or something? Okay, yeah, yeah. Like, it's it's one thing about like like being passionate about what you do. Yeah. Like, like you like writing, you love writing. But like the moment someone says like, like oh, what do you do? And I'm like, oh, I, uh, I'm a fashion designer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So no, like, that's what, the thing. You know. Okay, but I just want to say this too before before you continue on your point. <laughs> Because also that's like a struggle that I had. Like, you know, like when, you know, like when, um, when, you know, at work. Yeah. The thing is yeah. that like, you know, like you have to introduce yourself to everybody. Because I don't want to say that everybody is like, oh, I'm a writer. <laughs> like, yeah. but the thing is that like, you know, like sometimes like, you know, when you're talking to people, because it's like when I'm talking with my friends, it's like the same way I talk to you is in the same way I talk to my friends. The same way I talk to my friends is going to be the same way same I talk way, to like yeah. coworkers at, like at work. But the thing is that like, you know, like when you have nothing to talk about. And it's like kind of weird. Like I don't want to like flex. It feels like a flex if I say like, "Oh yeah, I wrote a book." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I just want to casually mention it. But after they say like, "Oh," and that's the thing. Like for the people that are like listening to this, I really don't want to make it seem like a flex. Like, <laughs> no, just, like, I disclaimer. Just, like, just disclaimer. Yeah. No. No. Like I don't want to. I don't want to so make true. it seem like a flex. But it's like, um, I don't know. Like I feel kind of embarrassed. When I say like, "Oh yeah, I just wrote a book." Like there's some people that are like really passionate. They say like, "Oh yeah, you're like like when you when you release it." Cause it's technically released on Amazon, but like I'm just waiting for the 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 copy just to see how it looks like. But like, yeah, like I feel, like I always try and talk about like I don't know like my music taste or like, um, yeah. just about like school and all that and like looking kind of like surface level things. Cause the things I feel like kind of embarrassed if I if I say like oh yeah I'm a writer. No, like <laughs> I think <laughs> no I I feel hundred percent the yeah. same. But like I, for me I found like a solution for mine. Yeah, yeah I, I want to try. I want to think. I want to think. Because I can give you like an example of what I like to do yeah. or what I like like to say, like, because I I want to say it like in a more like fun way. Yeah. In a like less like, like I'm not saying that like, it's e- egotistical, but like the way I hear it in my own voice, like when when someone says like, "Oh, I'm a fashion designer," and it, like, I'm like, "Oh, it's so cool." Yeah. But like myself, like who I am and who I who like. Yeah. Like I, who I like, came to be. I I feel like I I'm I'm not like the type to just be like, oh my fashion designer. So what I like to say is just like, ah uh, like I like to make clothes. Oh okay. Yeah, but that's yeah. fun. That's like yeah. that like, example say like oh what do you do and I, I so instead of saying like I'm a fashion designer I just say I like making clothes. It's yeah. more like more fun. It's more like not it's like not too serious, but at the same time like, it's something that I can put on. And then I could say, yeah. But for you, it's not like, I. If you were to put in your perspective, example, like they ask you, oh, what do you do? And I like to like, write. I like to write, <laughs> but it's like kind of weird. But it's like you, you know what I mean. Like, uh, like people, like you write every day. Like you write yeah. like when you so they, when you text a person or you yeah. write when you when like you're if ever you, you decide to journal. Yeah, it's but so yours, yours is, is like different. Yours is completely yeah, different. Kind of, 
it's kind of weird. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's like kind of weird in between. Yeah, because for me, it's like, I make clothes. So it already associates to like, basically just fashion designer. But yeah. for you, like saying like, oh, I like to write. Writing is such like a huge thing that like, it could be like, yeah. you're just writing on a journal. You like to write, like yeah. you'd like to to just document. Yeah. You like to like write essays or yeah, stuff you know. like that. It could be like anything, but I don't know. Like, I feel like you just have to take time and like try to find that one thing because <laughs> it's so true. Like, like it's the same thing. Like I'm sure like the way I see you yeah. is like, I'm not, not, not in a bad way. Like saying like, Oh, you don't deserve this title because you, you deserve the title yeah. of being a writer. But like, but it's just, just no, the way you are. Book. Yeah. Like, like when you see like a, you see like a, like a, like, like old lady she's drinking her wine and she's like in a networking event and then she's like oh i'm a writer, I'm a writer. And then it's yeah. nice it's like like it's cool but then when like the like your personality doesn't match <laughs> <laughs> <I'm a writer. laughs> yeah the moment i see you like say like oh i'm a writer i just imagine you in like a business suit and like yeah. I, don't, I don't imagine you in that. <laughs> like I, yeah. I imagine you in like you're like your you know like your your um just like the canvas bag with like yeah. I don't know like the like the sweatpants and yeah yeah I don't know <laughs> no but it's, it's I don't know it's kind of weird but that's that's basic that's why like I, I in a way like I remember when I wrote this question I was like it's kind of it's kind of weird to find it because it's like I just wanna I feel like there's more there's so much more I feel like, but we already know this it's like there's so much more to us but at the same time too like when you're like introducing yourself to like random people it's like so it's such an easy way to like like introduce yourself and like to spark up a conversation because you don't want to yeah. be talking about like surface level boring things yeah you want to be talking about something you're actually passionate about and you want to get like also the same time too like it's it's a good thing because let's say you're talking about like a surface level thing to a person it's only really going to stay on that surface level unless yeah. they actually like reach out and then after that, like say something for it to go on a deeper level but like what i do enjoy though there's like the perks to it it's like sometimes like when i say something like oh i'm a writer that that encourages like subconsciously the other person I'm talking to to yeah. talk about their passions. Like I remember like I I mentioned it and like I yeah, like I said, like I was trying to like mention it in like in a humble way. But after like that brought out like I remember I was interviewing um or not interviewing, I was um talking to like the buster that trained me. His name is Ryan. And I remember yeah when I talked to him and I mentioned about like oh yeah my passion is like writing and like yeah like I I that's the thing, like, uh, I don't know, it was like, like, I tried to, like, say in, like, a humble way, I said, like, oh, yeah, like, you know, my first book is coming soon, or something like that, because, like, we had nothing to talk about, and he said, like, oh, yeah, that's pretty good, and I feel like that, like, because if I just say writer, he's too general, it's too, it's yeah, still it's too broad, too still. Yeah. so now that I mentioned, I casually mentioned that, but I'm really happy, though, because the thing is that, like, it, it, like, since I was talking about something I was passionate about, like, it brought out, like, something out of, it brought it out, or brought out, like, that type of, like, energy, into our conversation he's, he talked about like what he's passionate about and he said like oh like i'm a producer and like yeah one day like i want to do this and that and like we're talking and then after we're talking about like our dream and like the way that we visualize our lives and like yeah like i asked him like, oh what's your dream car or something and then after i said like and like i remember like i i, I told him like i told him like you know, instead of like talking about like um instead of talking about like if because i remember he kept saying like he kept talking i don't know how you say it in french but he said like C like you know when they say like if yeah, yeah, yeah. I kept saying like oh all you did all you did is C come for the con like I yeah. said I kept saying like instead of saying like if you gotta say like when like, yeah, you gotta, yeah that's how like you manifest and then we're talking about manifestation and like I don't know like when when you when you talk about when you don't talk about surface level things and you talk about more deeper things like it's yeah it's way more interesting and like yeah yeah like I feel like I don't know it's like at the same time I want to believe in myself and at the same time too like I don't want to be like I feel like it's but like at the same time too, like I don't know, it's, I, I'm only on my first book. Like I don't want to say I'm a writer just yet. Yeah. To like the entire world. No, no, I like you're definitely like a writer. It's just that like I, I feel like it's just like in your mind. Yeah. Like that title is so like it's yeah, so like it's elegant like, and it's yeah, so like yeah. cool. <laughs> like you don't like to like associate like I don't know it's just like yeah and things. like you know like talking about the writer thing, <laughs> you know like I I <laughs> there was like um there was a because the thing is that like I remember like uh. There was this there's this girl that I that like followed me and I just followed her back. But it's like a person I didn't even know. Or like I no, I looky kinda knew her because she was in one of my classes, but like we barely even talked. Yeah. And then after that, like she's the type of person she's the type of person like you just follow like she follows you and then you follow her back, but you never even like talk to her on Instagram or anything. Yeah. And then I remember like I was just like I was going through stories. And then I remember I remember like one of her stories was like, Oh, like like yo, shout out to my friend. Like yo, she's a like she published her first book, like I'm so proud of her. 
And then after that, I was like, oh, yeah, like, that's, like, even though, like, her stories, because the thing is, this is, like, a random person I barely know. Sometimes I, I wouldn't even heart. I would just, like, skip through it. Yeah. Like, I just skip through the stories. But then when I saw that, it caught my eye. I was like, oh, yo, like, another person that, like, wrote. Yeah. Like, I'm actually kind of curious. Like, yo, let me click on the link and, like, let me, like, try to find her Instagram. Like, I'm kind of curious. Mm-hmm. And then after that, like, the thing is, like, it's her first book. But at the same time, too, like, it's, like, it's really up to her. Like, I won't, like... Yeah. I, at the same time, like, the way that I, like, I, I perceive myself isn't the same way, like, she has to perceive herself necessarily. Yeah, but, yeah. Like, she, like, published her first book, and after, in her bio, like, it said, like, writer, and it said, like, poet. It said, like, poet, like, um... I don't know, she, she basically took, like, writer, the title writer, and she put, like, poet, creative. Oh, she like, put, like, a whole, like... Uh, yeah, like, you yeah. know, like, the writer, but, like, synonyms, like, synonyms of, like... I don't yeah. know. No, but it's, it's... It's like, but like, and she released her first book, but like, at the same time too, like, that's just depending on the way that you perceive yourself. Like, I didn't necessarily look at it as a good thing or bad thing, but I was like, yo, like, I feel like there's a big difference. You gotta yeah. be like, the same way I like promote myself on Instagram. Yeah. It's in the same, same way, way you're gonna promote yourself. Cause like, she was like, she like, she really tied her identity on Instagram to like, just books and like writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I just found that really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, so just to... I feel like we've been talking for a while. Like, yo, we could do we could do like maybe like one or two more questions, and I feel like okay. we're good to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Um. So. Um. Let's see. Mm. I remember I really asked this question like when I, when you were cutting my hair like a long time ago. Um. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. This is this is like a unique question. So, if. So if your inner child self. Or like little version of yourself was watching you, would he be proud? And how would how would he feel? Yeah, I think I I think about this and I say yeah. Um, because I I say he would be proud now. Yeah. Because uh, like what I'm doing now is really like. Um, what, I because like I was watching this podcast and basically this guy said that like, sometimes like someone like when when they end up like doing a specific thing like they're very passionate about sometimes it stems from like actually when you were like a kid yeah and like sometimes you don't think about it but like not necessarily like oh i started a business yeah so like it doesn't mean that when you were a kid you were thinking about like making this multi-million yeah but it's like something related yeah somewhat like related or even just like a small like even like a tiny tiny skill that you developed as a kid that you didn't see much value, but then ended up, like, doing it when you're older, and it's only until, like, you go back in time where you, like, realize that you've always been doing this. Yeah. But to me, it was, like, my my childhood was really, like, when I was with, like, with Junjun and you. Yeah. Um, and we were playing, like, Call of Duty, and, yeah. like, um, we'd always, like, rotate, but, but this was mainly <laughs> yeah. with Junjun. But, like, because Junjun was the editor, and I was the graphic designer, yeah. so whenever he was playing Call of Duty, and, like, he was, um, so the goal was, and like initially, like the fun thing to do was playing on the uh, on the PS three, but we only had one, so we would alternate. So yeah, when he's yeah, playing yeah, PS three, yeah. I was like doing like um, I was a graphic designing, making yeah. backgrounds. Yeah. And well, when I was able to play, Kojun would be like um, editing. Editing. Yeah. And when I think about it, it's like um, I ended up taking like a huge break from that, like when I went to accounting. But and it was only until like recently that I realized that like. I would have been a lot happier if I, want if I went into like the whole like graphic designing in yeah. school, but I would have definitely be like I I wouldn't say I would be happier. I'd definitely say I would be more like, like f- I would be further yeah. in like my career. But I wouldn't say I'm happier. Maybe it was like the path that I was like supposed to do, but I definitely say like he he would be happy now because I'm like I'm doing what I'm doing like yeah. graphic designing. I'm yeah. creating like clothes, yeah. all that I'm selling, and it was also like something that. Um, I wanted to bring up, but remember when he ended up, like I ended up like, kind of yeah. like in a way like forcing you to learn how to graphic design. Yeah, yeah, I remember. And, then, and I thought we made like, cause, um, cause at the time they had like this graphic designer which is um, sword D one and D two, and basically oh, they were brothers. Yeah. And D one was like a more two D graphic designer where the brother was like Just, two, yeah. Two, oh my! I actually like, remember. They that. were so good, and then uh, when I saw it, I was so inspired. <laughs> <laughs> Ended up like forcing you to like learn how to do graphic design. Yeah, and, and I, I remember. I think I I was like you. You were trying to teach me how to do the three D one. Yeah, and then I remember like I would always like 
teach you and like you would just want to like play other games <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> you know you just get so frustrated and i remember like it was so good like um we made a bit of money we, no we like, made, we we made like we we sold one um texture pack yeah. and i remember our youtube was like j and w or something yeah. he was juicy juiced yeah, <laughs> <was what> <laughs> <laughs> and you know like this is actually so g like i remember like another thing too i remember like you know i'd be able to like promote using like an app called nemo on skype okay do you remember that oh is it is it oh yeah like yeah and basically I'll, like you would send a message and then it would copy the message to like to every, every single every single like, chat. contact yeah, yeah yeah i remember there was that and i remember like i remember like, we used to always like self-promote using that like that's just like a little memory app. yeah i, I remember. remember but i remember also there was one time like i remember like we got into an argument. <laughs> I remember there was one time we were in like I remember not only would you self promote on Skype but also self promote on um on YouTube. Like yeah. in the like, comment sections. And I remember there was one time like you told me like oh you're like this message that you put in Nemo, like copy and paste this and you just go in like comment sections and just copy and paste the same message. Yeah. And I remember like one time like I was like getting frustrated because like I felt like it was too like demanding of a task. Yeah. I'll get frustrated. I remember in every conversation, I'd just be writing, i just be writing poop. <laughs> like, one time you caught me, like, writing poop, and after you got mad at me. <laughs> I, don't remember, I don't remember, but yeah, I, no, I, I just, I can imagine it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, but, yeah, no, but, yo, like, talking, like, if we're, like, going off this question, but, like, talking for me, to be honest, like, I don't, all I remember, like, when it comes to writing... I think it was like, to be honest, I remember like I, I was like, especially in, in school, like I was, I wasn't really doing that. Like I was pretty, doing pretty well in like all my subjects. Yeah. But the thing is, I remember I, like now that we were doing this interview, I was thinking about this a few days ago, but the thing is that like, I feel like developing like the habit of writing, mm-hmm. I never really developed it. Um, like I wasn't really like journaling in my spare time when I was younger. I would barely even be writing like I'm. I was mainly just playing video games. Yeah. But I remember, like, whenever I would write, I remember, especially in English, and I still remember this, um, there was, like, I don't, I don't even think you, you had her, but, like, there was this English teacher called Miss B. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ms. Oh, you had it. Yeah. Yeah, Mrs. Bernadette. You know, like, it was back in, like, third or fourth grade. She, I remember, like, I, I did really good on a writing exam or, like, writing test, and she said, like, oh, Russell, you should become a writer. Oh. Uh-huh. And I remember that, like, just a few days ago, or, like, around, like, a week or, like, Four yeah. or five days ago, I was like, yo, oh, like, that's kind of crazy. Like, um, Miss Bernadette, like, rem- like, said that to me, and then, like, now I remember it. Yeah, I just that's good. remember that. Yeah. So, yeah, like, I wouldn't, like, my child self, to be honest, he was just busy, like, playing video games. Yeah. But, like, looking back at it, like, I feel like the talent, or, like, I wouldn't necessarily say, like, I don't know, like, I haven't, like, fully, fully, like, developed my talents yet. Mm-hmm. Like, I still have a long ways to go. Um, but... The fact that, like, yeah, like, at a young age, like, the, like, Miss B, like, that teacher told me, like, I should become a writer, like, that's pretty inspiring. Yeah. And, like, so, like, maybe, like, I had it within me, but, like, now it's, like, I feel like, to be honest, yeah, like, my, my child, like, like, my child self, like, uh, if he's looking at me, I feel like he'd be pretty happy, like, yeah, seeing that, like, I'm focusing on something and, like, I'm passionate about. Yeah. Like, all I, all I really cared about back then was, to be honest, just playing video games, like. Yeah. But, like, the way I kind of, like, it's good that you say that you're, like, proud because, like, yeah. definitely, like, should be. Especially with, like, um, like, you see, like, that, like, when you take the time to, like, think back, like, in the past, yeah. there's, like, li- there's always, like, l- like that one thing, like, yeah, random one thing that you. it, like, you, you remember, and then it, like, sometimes it's a calling. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily mean, like, it's what you're going to do, like, forever, but yeah. that's probably, like, a step that you can go to. Yeah. And then it's going to bring you to, like, another path, like, yeah. and then it's just going to bring you to the next and to the next, and then yeah. you're going to find what you want. But like already just knowing that and like like that you're pursuing something that you you wanted to do yeah or that you you were kind of like you had like signs as a kid like to do then it's, yeah it's, it's yeah, already it's like good. on its own is really good yeah okay but I looked at the time it's like an hour fifteen yeah it's actually like a pretty pretty good interview and like I want to keep it around this length okay and like I feel like this interview was actually pretty good so um before like before we wrap it up do you think do you have anything to say to the, to the mm-hmm. viewers no I think it's uh. It, it was it was a lot funnier like maybe we, we it could have been done like earlier yeah but like maybe maybe today was like a good time just yeah, like yeah. out of out of nowhere yeah no it was actually pretty nice like, i feel like it's really the unexpected moments like this that like yeah that, make are, it really that good. are good yeah okay but yo like if you guys uh stick through it like thank you guys for listening and um yeah this was probably 
I only recorded three episodes, but yeah, this is like a really fun episode. This is one of my favorite ones to record. Yeah. And uh, yeah, like uh, I'm gonna be staying consistent. Like my bad, I haven't been consistent on the channel as much. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a comeback though. Yeah. So yeah. Uh. So, so see you guys like. I'm, I don't know if I'm if the next video I'm gonna upload is gonna be a podcast or not, but uh, just um, thank you guys for showing support though. But you you, you know I I feel like what you should do for this one is like maybe remember you were saying that you want to play like Maple Story while you're doing that yeah well, I guess maybe this could be like a good no 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 but the two other episodes to be honest has also been Maple Story and like also Maple game. Story too yeah <laughs> yeah but I don't know I'm I'm gonna decide maybe on a relaxing game but yeah but the, I, yeah maybe don't force yourself with Maple Story because like Maple Story is such a like good game that you don't want to force like yeah like you, you don't want to force yourself playing like an hour 30 just so it matches the, the yeah podcast. that's the thing yeah no but like that's i remember I, I i did that i remember that's when i like made like there was like a week where i came back to maple story it was also like the week that i interviewed somebody and like that was actually pretty nice but um maybe this time like i'll find like another game because like yeah. if i come back to maple story right now like no like i feel like i'm just gonna get a slight taste of maple story and then i'm gonna and be like to stop again yeah and it's gonna be like kind of trash because i'm like yo like i don't have time for this yeah. but like i really want to come back yeah okay but yeah just um take care guys see you guys in the, in the next episode okay okay bye